So I'm going to go over how to join a Cohesity cluster to Active Directory. From the main dashboard, click Settings and then Access Management. In Access Management, you'll see a tab in the middle called Active Directory. Click on that. You have two blue menu options. On the right hand side, it'll say Add Active Directory. It'll take you to the join. If you click on the arrow to the right, you'll have a submenu that pops up about adding Active Directory users, local users, configure SSO. Typically, people are going to click on the button in the middle, join Active Directory. This brings us into the join Active Directory workflow. So we'll start by adding your domain name and a user and password. Note, in a couple situations here, the user and password by default, we are expecting it to be able to have enough credentials to be able to create the machine account in the Windows Active Directory. In some environments, you're going to have where the security team pre-creates these computer objects. As such, then we have a toggle toward the middle here to be able to reuse an existing machine account that was already created. So first, we're just going to go ahead and click and start the process. After you put in the username and password, you can hit, you'll see this drop down arrow will populate. If you have a long list of Active Directory domain controllers, it'll populate into this list that's doing an LDAP lookup query. The purpose of this, you can select more than one. We only have one in the lab right now as I'm demoing, but the purpose of this is you have a domain controller that's local where you want to look up requests to happen. So as a user logs into Active Directory, we're gonna forward that request on to the Windows Active Directory domain controller. Depending on your geographical location, you don't want necessarily want those to take a long time to come back with a response as a user will be waiting until it's approved. So you can select one or you can select multiple that are close that have a low latency to it. Now you can go back later and add and edit this list as you so need when changes happen in your environment. In here, we already have pre-created the machine account Cohesity-A, so we're gonna automatically reuse it. If I wanted to add another one or if you didn't have a security team that pre-created the account, then you can go ahead and hit the add icon and add another machine account. For example, I'll type uh, XYZ as an example. Now you would want to have your DNS records, your DNS A records already pre-created ahead of time to make sure that you can actually get into these SMB shares if you are using this as a file server or if you're going to use that path for clients to connect to. Because we want to reuse this Cohesity-A, we're going to toggle this on. If you scroll further down, you'll see a couple different options. If you are using Cohesity Smart Files, if you want to be able to map users with SMB and NFS to the same view, then we have the ability to do that. Also, you have the ability to create these machine accounts in different OUs in your Windows Active Directory. The OU has to be pre-created, so I could set by default it's going to go to computers, but I could say maybe I have a servers, maybe I have a, a backup OU. If you're using Windows Active Directory Domain Trust, and then you're joining this to the root domain and it has some child domains, we do require in this release to be a two-way trust. We can turn this on to automatically discover the domain trust. You can edit this, you can filter this out later, maybe you have a couple that you don't have any have plans to do backups, maybe it's a dev domain or a dev trust then you can set this to not back up or not even look at that particular domain. Right now it's just a simple single domain and now I'm just going to hit join. And now we see that we have the Cohesity Labs out local, we see the work group, and we see the two machine accounts. Now if I wanted to go into Windows Active Directory, now I'm in Active Directory Users and Computers. I have the machine account Cohesity-A, but we also created the machine account XYZ as that's what we put in when we we're filling out our Active Directory join. Now that we joined the Cohesity cluster to Windows Active Directory, now we can reuse Windows Active Directory accounts to be able to have permissions to log on to the Cohesity cluster. For the main dashboard, click under Settings and Access Management. On the right hand side, you have the button that says Add AD Users and Groups. I want to select the, the middle option, Active Directory Users and Groups is selected. So notice it's going to the domain lookup, and now we can add in a uh, user that I know that's already listed. And we have the ability to give it a certain this user a certain role. So there's a drop down list. We have predefined roles. So you can either give them a admin or you can give them multiple other roles such as data security and SMB security. We do have the ability to give it a description and then also to restrict this to certain objects. If we wanted this user 
Maybe it's an Oracle user and they're just gonna manage Oracle databases or a Microsoft SQL user DBA and that's all they're gonna do is manage that. Then we can lock this down to that particular source type. You still, even though it's joined to Active Directory, you still have the ability to create local accounts, such as maybe you have one and they're creating an account for replication. You have the ability to do that. On the roles itself, we do have the ability to add custom roles. So we can click on a custom roles. We have check boxes where you want to enable or disable a certain role. So maybe this user will have the ability to clone, but we don't want them to be able to view other users. Maybe we don't want them to have the ability to view remote clusters as an example. Or if you want them to have all sources, we can hit all or we can hit some and then we can check. Maybe this is going to be a VMware admin. You can check the boxes for the VMware or maybe it's a virtualization and we add Hyper-V and, and AHV if, if you also have that in your environment. You get the idea. We can hit create role. So now we have uh, two because I've created a, a role before. We can go back into users and groups and we can edit this particular user. We can hit the three dots and hit edit. And now I can also add in that custom role that we just created. Last thing to show you, I'm gonna log out as this local user. I am logged in as the admin, so we're gonna log out. So when I go to log in, we need to change this domain to the domain account. And now this is gonna log into this user that we just added to the cluster and it'll have the permissions or the roles that we just gave this particular user on the Cohesity cluster. So this is how you would easily join a Cohesity cluster to Windows Active Directory domain. I hope this was informative and thanks for watching.